Hello, this is statistics lesson one. In this, I will discuss mean, median, and mode, their basics with questions. Now, what is the meaning of mean? Mean simply means average. Average of numbers. Let's say numbers are 12, 6, 10, and 16. Now, arithmetic mean or simply means would be the average of these numbers. So 12 plus 6 plus 10 plus 16 by 4. If you sum this, this will become 12 plus 6, 18, 18 plus 10, 28, 28 plus 16, 44 by 4, this is equals to 11. So 11 is the mean or average of these numbers. Now very important concept, 12, 16, 10 and 6, 12, 6, 10 and 16, their mean is 11. If you add same number to each observation, if you add same number to each observations, I have added 2 to each number. The average will also increase by 2. Average or mean will also increase by 2. So new average would be 11 plus 2. You can check. Same way if you subtract the same number from each observations, then also the same change will happen in average. Average will also decrease by 2. Same with multiply. If you multiplied each number by same constant, let's say I, I have multiplied by 2, then the I have multiplied by 2, then the average will also multiply by 2. Whatever change you will do in each observation, either in terms of plus or product, the same change will happen in the average. Average will now be 22. Same way, if, if each observation divided by same constant, if each observation is divided by same constant, your average will also be get divisible by the same number. So average will be 11 by 4. Now what kind of question can come? Question could be like this. x1, x2, x3 up to xn, their average is 5. You need to find the average of these numbers. 7, x1 plus k, 7, x2 plus k and so on. Now what I will do? I will multiply each number by 5. So 7x1, they, it's given that the arithmetic mean or you can say that their average is 5. You need to calculate the average of this. So 7x1, 7x2, 7x3, dash 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 7xn, the average would be how much? I have multiplied each number by 7. So average will also get multiplied by 7. So average would be 7 into 5, 35. If x1, x2, x3 up to xn, the average is 5, then 7x1, 7x2, 7x3, dash 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 7xn, the average would be 7 into 5. Now add k to each number. If you add k, 7x2 plus k, 7x3 plus k, dash 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 7xn plus k. Now if you add each, if I am adding k to each observation, the average will also increase by k. So new average would be 35, this is equals 35, so 35 plus k and that will be my answer. This kind of question can come in exam. Here I have taken an example, I have three business schools and in each business school there are five students. I, am, I have written the their annual package, placement package in lakhs per annum. School A, five students, school B, also have five students school C also have five students now if you calculate the average package is in each of the college this is 20 lakhs per annum this is also 20 lakhs per annum this is also 20 lakhs per annum now very important to understand that if you have not understood the let's say if you have not seen the placement brochure of any of these schools and you came to know that the, even B school A even in B school A the average package is 20 lakhs. You will assume that at least the students will, will getting 20 lakhs per annum package. But this is not true. You can see that 4 students are getting the package of only 5 lakhs. These 4 students are getting the package of only 5 lakhs. And 1 student is getting the package of 80 lakhs. So very very important. Average does not represent the true picture. Average does not represent the true picture when the data is extreme. Ex extreme values are there. Extreme values means that very low values as well as very high values. Then average does not represent the true picture. 
एवरेज रिप्रेजेंट द ट्रू पिक्चर ओनली वन डेटा does not include the extreme values look at this third case in this case if you are assuming that if i will get admission in college c my package would be around 20 lakhs you are correct five students each of them are getting almost equal packages but you can't should, you should not apply or should not get uh, deceived by the college a because only one student is getting high package others are getting low packages so very important uh the average is does not represent the true picture when there are extreme values so i uh, my advice to each and every students who is applying to uh for b school for doing mba always checks the one other value that is median so average is one representative of the central value other is the median median now what is the median median is the middle value Median is the middle value that is used to find middle value after arranging the terms in ascending or descending order. Once you arrange the terms in ascending or descending order, then you find the middle term that will give you the median. Uh, this is the data given to you. I need to find the median. How I will do? First, I will arrange the data in ascending order. So, can I? Say this is seven, three, seven, eleven. 17 and 25 i have arranged the data in ascending order you can also arrange it in descending order but have is your choice now median is the middle value 11 is the middle value now it's also measure the central tendency or central value of the entire data both median and mean are used to find the central value of the data in this case let's say this is also b school d this is b b school and the packages are lakhs per annum 7 lakhs 11 lakhs 17 3 and 25 now if i say that median salary in this case your median salary is 11 lakhs per annum median salary is 11 lakhs per annum what it shows what is the mean significance of median significance of median is that half of the students half of the students what is the meaning of median salary is 11 half of the students got the salary of salary more than 11 and other half got salary less than 11 lakhs per annum so that is the other way to find the uh, central value of the data so half of the students more than 11 half of the student less than 11 this can also give you a different idea of the uh, middle value now this is very important while you checking the brochure or placement packages of every college once you will check the placement packages of each and every college please go for both average as well as median salary please go for average as well as median salary for example uh, in a b school there are 100 students 100 students and the average package is 19 lakhs per annum and the median package median salary is 17 lakhs per annum for example out of 100 students if a b school has 100 students and their average package is 19 lakhs per annum and median salary or median package is 17 lakhs per annum what it means average is simply uh, you have taken the salary of all the students divided by 100 you got the average salary as 19 lakhs per annum median salary what it means median salary means that 50% even 50 students have more than 17 lakhs more than 17 lakhs and almost 50 students has less than 17 lakhs so it means that half of the students have less than 17 lakh salary and half of the student have more than 17 lakhs per annum package now these two combined can give you a better picture of the b school placement at least you know that once you know that median salary is 17 lakhs per annum you can at least know that uh, 50 if you will be in the top 50% of the students your salary will be 17 or more than that now when you have more date even numbers let's say 3 7 9 15 already i have arranged the data in ascending order what will the median of this when you have even numbers median is the middle term after arranging the data in ascending or descending order then the median is this is four term term number 2 plus term number 3 by 2 
टू मिडल टर्म डिवाइडेड बाय टू दैट वुड बी द मीडियन सो इन दिस केस सेवन प्लस नाइन बाय टू दिस इज सिक्सटीन बाय टू एट विल बी माय मीडियन सो मीडियन इज द मिडल टर्म मीडियन इज सिंपली द मिडल टर्म मीडियन इज इक्वल टू मिडल टर्म वाइल अरेंजिंग आफ्टर अरेंजिंग द डेटा इन असेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर नाउ how to find the middle term if n is odd total number of terms are odd then the middle term would be term number n plus 1 by 2th term would be the middle term for example if n is 71 your middle term would be 71 plus 1 by 2th term that is 36th term from the left side वन यू अरेंजिंग द डेटा इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर और फ्रॉम द राइट साइड थर्टी सिक्स टर्म थर्टी सिक्स टर्म वुड बी योर मीडियन सेम वे इफ एन इज इवन योर एन इज इवन देन द मिडल टर्म वुड बी हाउ मच टू मिडल टू टर्म्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू कैन दिस इज एन बाय टू एथ टर्म एन बाय टू एथ टर्म प्लस एन बाय टू प्लस वन एथ टर्म डिवाइडेड बाय टू so if let's say your n is 72 then your middle term or median would be the uh, 36 plus n is 72 72 by 236 plus 37th term if you add these two terms divided by 2 then that would be the median or middle value so that was all about this lesson in the next lesson i will continue with more on statistics thank you